Hey guys, Mitch here. I've been getting a lot of messages and comments about my eye color change surgery and I've also gotten a lot of questions. I wanted to make this FAQ video to give you guys all the answers to the most commonly asked questions. I just had top surgery, which is a surgery to um, help me get rid of my breasts so I am a little bit under the weather and I'm gonna be making a video about that as well as if you're interested how do you change your eye color this procedure is done with a laser it is called irradiology and it basically burns off the brown pigment in your eyes where did I get it done I got this procedure done with Dr. Grimaldos in Barcelona, Spain at the ICOS clinic. I will put the link to his website um, down below and right here so you guys can, um, can look that up. How much did it cost in total or including, you know, hotel or X, Y, and Z? The procedure costs, it's four sessions and all the sessions together cost me 2,000 euros. To convert that into your currency, I would just go on Google and look for a currency translator. Um, obviously, you know, the currency in dollars or whatever currency you use in your country is always changing. So that's why I just put what I paid for in euros. Um, and then in total, maybe like 4,000 euros, including like my hotel stay and my flight and souvenirs, just like entertainment. I didn't find it to be like highly priced compared to what I'm used to. So depending on a lot of factors, it could be um, expensive for you. So I would just look up a currency translator and then, you know, make your own budget decisions. Because of course, like my personal budget you know, is different than yours. So I would just do your research and see what you're comfortable with spending. Where did I stay? I stayed at a, an apartment in the Exempla neighborhood. I would actually recommend staying like by the Romblas, which is like more downtown and more where the touristy stuff is. It'll also be easier to get to um, the doctor's office since you have to go there like almost every day, some of the weekend. How long did it take and how many sessions did I do? It took about two weeks. Um, you can do the procedure in nine days or you can go twice. I just did it in like one long stay so that I wouldn't have to go back. I did the four sessions, which is what's recommended. Um, this is about two and a half months after the completion of my procedure. Um, my eyes are still supposed to change for the next um, couple months after the procedure. So a lot of people have asked me, you know, why didn't I get more sessions done? I did the recommended amount of sessions. I wasn't offered more sessions um, to try and make my eyes lighter. And I don't even know if more sessions are recommended. So update you guys um, at that point if more sessions are recommended for me or if it's even possible to have more sessions. What color were my eyes before or what grade were my eyes before? My eye color before was brown. My eyes were a grade two on the doctor's scale, which is a light brown. What color are my eyes now? I am going to put the link to my video showing off my eyes after my surgery um, right here. So you guys can click on that and see footage of my eyes, um, how they are now. Can you choose what color your eyes turn? Unfortunately, you can't choose what color your eyes turn, and if you guys send me pictures, I can't tell you what color your eyes are going to turn. Did you have complications? I did have complications with my procedure. My left pupil uh, is got really dilated, and the doctor said that the muscles in my pupil uh, were damaged by the laser and it has gotten a lot better but if I'm outside for a long time my 
left pupil will dilate a lot more than my right pupil. And for most of the time, my left pupil just looks a slightly larger than my right one. Something to know is that when you go outside, your eyes are going to be a lot more sensitive to light. So I just always carry some um, sunglasses with me. As long as I'm wearing sunglasses, I haven't had any problems with it. Is this procedure like bright ocular, stroma, or some other procedure? From what I understand and from the articles that I have read, this procedure is similar to stroma in that it's using a laser to change the pigment of your eyes. From what I've read most recently, stroma is still in the uh, like experimental phase. It's not open to the public right now, which is a reason that I went with the procedure that I did go with is because it is available now. For me, it was really important that it was either, you know, in the European Union or in America where I know the medical standards and I'm comfortable going there and having some medical procedure done. This procedure is not like bright ocular. There, there's no implants in your eyes. There's no cutting of your eyes. Um, there's no real like surgery part on your eyes. There are other clinics that say they're doing something similar to this procedure, but again, that um, I'm not a doctor, I'm not giving medical advice, so I would just do your research and decide what's right for you. When is the second generation laser coming out? I have no affiliation with Dr. Grimaldus' office or ICOS. I'm just giving my opinion and my experience going through this procedure to try and help other people who are interested in it. And I can't give you any sort of, you know, expectation date when the second generation laser is coming out. Just like, you know, I can't help you schedule appointments or, you know, if they don't want to do your eyes or say you aren't a good candidate. I can't, you know, influence their office. For as far as knowing when the next generation laser is coming out, I'm sorry, I don't know. These are the questions I get most often about my eye laser procedure, and I wanted to give you guys, you know, just uh, one video with all the information in it, and I hope this is helpful for anyone who is looking into having this procedure done. I will see you guys soon. Bye!